The project to remove 100 years of mine waste from the ground in Butte started this summer, and the contamination was far worse than estimated. MTN's John Amy updates us as the cleanup process currently going on at the Parrot tailing site. They knew the groundwater beneath Butte's parrot tailings was going to be bad, but it turned out much worse. The highly contaminated groundwater is much more extensive than we had originally anticipated, and uh, the, the soils believe, below the tailings are also more extensively contaminated. All the more reason to continue the estimated $36 million project to remove a century's worth of mined waste that has been buried underneath this area off of Civic Center Road. It's a project being paid for through the Superfund settlement with the Atlantic Richfield Company when it was determined the tailings were contaminating Butte's groundwater. We're thousands of times over the drinking water standard and a hundred times worse than the water in the Berkeley pit. Despite the high elevation of contamination, the project is continuing as planned. It doesn't change anything. I think it, though, does reinforce the need for the project and the governor's decision to move forward on this project. This specially designed pipe is transferring 100 gallons per minute of this highly contaminated groundwater from the work site all the way back there to Montana Resources, where it will be processed. We're just bringing it into what we call our dredge pond, which then goes straight to tailings and then is, uh, it's, it's co-mingled in with our process water through the mill. MR will also be disposing the tailings on its property at its own expense. The project was still very important to the community, very important to our governor, and MR still looked for how we could be a player in all that. It, it, end up, it ends up costing MR some money to handle these materials. And willing to do its part in the cleanup. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Now the first phase of this project should be completed by January, then the second phase to remove tailings across Civic Center Road. That won't uh, get completed until 2020.